Of all the great places you can choose to fish in the Florida Keys, there's one spot that stands out above all others, the legendary Dry Tortugas. Yo, are you kidding me? <laughs> there you go, right there, right there, Chris, Chris, Chris. Oh! There he is. Oh, there he is, he right under the boat. That was something else. Look there at him chompers. That's what we came after there, buddy. Got him? Yeah, I got him. Yeah! <laughs> Excellent job, guys. How cool is that? We're on a fish. Whoa, oh, 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 my God! Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks. Key West is the closest town to the Dry Tortugas, and it's the logical departure point to get there. You can only reach the Tortugas by boat or seaplane, and it's this remote location that makes the area so interesting. There are six islands that make up the Tortugas, all part of the 100 square mile Dry Tortugas National Park. The fishing can be outstanding in the Tortugas, and no one knows the area better than my old friend, Captain Robert R.T. Trossett. R.T. and his son, Chris, the next generation in this iconic fishing family, agreed to guide us on a fishing adventure into the waters of the park to see how many different species we could catch. Our first stop came at historic Fort Jefferson on Garden Key. It's almost 70 nautical miles from Key West to the fort, and a fast boat comes in handy for such lengthy runs. Fortunately, we had flat calm conditions for our trip, which made travel much easier and quicker. RT, it's great to be here with you again at Fort Jefferson and Dry Tortugas National Park. And uh, it's been a long time since you and I were here together. It's been about 10 years, John. And at time. least 10 years or so. And I'm extra excited to be here today because we got your son Chris with us, man. This is going to be great. It's always good to be in the Tortugas. Two trossets on one boat. The fish don't stand a chance. It's going to be a good, good day today. So what are we fishing for? What's the plan? Now Chris has been fishing down here the last few months with his right. charters. and. Uh, I'll let him explain what we're going to catch. We're going to go to a couple of his hot spots. Well, let's set up on the reef and, uh, you know, just start catching fish. We'll start with snappers and groupers, and hopefully some other stuff will show up. Tunas, king mackerels. You never know what king you're going to find down here. That's huh? the great thing about down here. That's awesome. Let's go do it, man. Let's do it. I'm glad to be here with both of you. It's often possible to catch live bait near the fort, and having a plentiful supply of pilchards in the live well usually guarantees a successful day. After repeated throws of the cast net, we headed for the reef with full wells and a lot of excitement. That's my boy. Boy, look at them down there, man. They are thick. <laughs> we got chum and bait, we got bottom bait, we got everything we need. So, RT, this is one of your red snapper spots, right? Yes, sir. We pull up here, we drop a chum ball, and there's red snapper everywhere. It's, it's awesome. Yep, yeah, I found this spot about 20 years ago, and uh, it's taken Chris that long to get out of here. He's never got to go here with me. Well, He's pretty excited to be now. here. I'm itching to throw this jig in the water. You're not even going to put any bait on it? I'm going to go baitless on this first one. Go on see what happens. Go well, they're, right. they're sitting right here. I know, they're right, right there. there. Let's see what happens. I'm watching them swim all over the place. So. All right, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I see him coming over. There he goes. He's on you. That's a good one. Keep jigging it. Keep jigging it. Get him come up. Dang. Oh, man. I got a little deeper. There he oh, <laughs> man, I saw You see how fast you. he hit that thing? That's pretty wild. There, there he is. There he is. <laughs> and we watched the whole bike from That's the side. That's incredible. Yeah. 30 feet under the boat. Chase that jig that down. That is incredible. So wait, what do you think? It's unbelievable, man. 20 years. I'm 20 years it took you to get here. Yeah, but guess what? <laughs> You still don't get the numbers. You know, that qualifies as, <laughs> that qualifies as child abuse. That yeah, could be. We might have to turn you in. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them, boys. Look at them all. That's a beautiful fish. Sometimes they average real big here. Sometimes they average this size. That's a pretty nice fish. We'll take him. Yeah. Look at that. That's a beauty. It is a beauty. Look at that. Nice job, buddy. Nice. Nice job. Nice dry tortugas. Red snapper. That's something else. All right, buddy, we're going to let this one go. I know. <laughs> we'll wait for a bigger one to we'll keep. We'll wait for a bigger one. I know there's big ones down there. I saw them. I know you're wishing you brought your fly tackle, but. Oh, man. Here we go. Look See you, buddy. Up. Thanks for stopping it's by. It's nice when you don't even have to vent them. There you yeah, go. That's cool. All right, it's my turn, I think. Coming up, 
more hot red snapper action. Yo, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> there he is. Double head. That one feels a little better. The Trosset team strikes again. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks, is brought to you by Ram Trucks. Get more facts at ramtrucks.com. Guts. Glory. Ram. By Yellowfin. Your legacy. By Simrad. Go with confidence. And by Mercury Marine. Number one on the water. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks. We had great weather for our trip to the beautiful waters of the Tortugas. With an air temperature of 87 degrees, 83 degree clear water, and bright conditions brought on by steady high pressure. As it does in most places, having live bait makes a huge difference when fishing the Tortugas. R.T. Trossett has perfected the live bait game in the decades since he yeah. began guiding in Key West in the 1970s, and there's no one better at it. Virtually everything that swims out there will strike a lively bait. Get a few of these freebies over and see if we can't get something coming up. Here comes one. Here's a, oh, he's coming up. Watch it. Yo, are you kidding me? <laughs> that was the coolest thing ever, man. He had it coming straight up like this, like a submarine. <laughs> we got the diamond braid on him. 30 pound diamond braid. Resistance is futile. There he is. Double head. That one feels a little better. Here he comes. No, he's Hooked foul hooked. Right yeah. That's why he was fighting so hard. That boy, Chris. What you got? Oh, there's a little nice one. A little nicer one. Chris hooked his in the proper spot. Top of the lip. Yeah. There you go. <sighs> pretty, pretty, pretty. Let him go? Yeah, might as well. I'll send him back. See you, pal. Woohoo! Thanks, man. Bye-bye. I think that, nice one, that one's going on with us, right? Yeah, I say let's keep this one. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Slightly yeah. larger version. He'll fit on the grill just right. Yeah, that's a good one. For Key West, that's a nice fish. 20 years I've had this spot, and you never got to fish here, so I'm glad you get to come. Well, that's over now. You've got it now. And now Chris Trossett has taken the skills he's learned from his father and added a few new twists of his own. After chumming the red snapper up from the bottom, yeah. we put out the live baits and kicked off an incredible feeding frenzy. RT had chummed up a huge school of snapper, and as we dropped our baits, we'd get bit as our baits descended every time. Oh. It was fast and furious action, the kind of thing bottom fishermen dream of. After a while, the snapper lost all fear and came up close to the bottom of the boat. We only had to drop baits a few feet under the surface to get a bite. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, there he ate it, right under the boat. What'd you call this place, your little aquarium? The management of red snapper in the South Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico has generated more controversy than any other fishery in recent years. Scientific assessments of red snapper stocks showed a steady decline for several decades, bottoming out in 1990, so the federal government instituted drastic closures in the fishery to help it recover. The problem is that fishermen were seeing more snapper than ever, and anecdotal reports conflicted with official accounts, leading to widespread public frustration. Commercial shrimp trawls kill many juvenile snapper, and recreational fishermen land a large share too. But many conservation groups believe government estimation methods are grossly inaccurate when it comes to the recreational catch. For more information on red snapper management, visit ccaflorida.org. This Conservation Minute has been brought to you by Penn. Let the battle begin. 
In the Tortugas, we used Penn's Torque Conflict and Spin Fisher V spinning reels with International Squall and Torque Lever Drag conventional reels, all spooled with Mamoy High Catch monofilament and diamond braided line. Coming up next, more great dry Tortugas reef fishing. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. I think he just got eight there. <laughs> Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks, is being brought to you by Penn. Let the battle begin. By King Sailfish Mounts, for that once-in-a-lifetime catch. And by Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Fish, powered by Ram Trucks. Penn's new Battle 2 spinning reels feature an attractive design with a rugged full metal body, improved HT100 drag system, and five sealed stainless steel ball bearings. An instant anti-reverse bearing gives you solid hook sets on big fish by eliminating extra play in the handle, and new line capacity rings help you gauge the amount of line you have left at a glance. The Battle II is a perfect fit with the new Penn Battalion spinning rods. These lightweight graphite rods feature Fuji aluminum oxide guides, cork grips on selected models, and every battalion rod gives you the action, balance, and durability you'll need to exert maximum pressure during the fight. Battalion rods range in size from 6 foot 6 inch extra light action to 8 foot heavy action models to subdue even the largest fish. After battling one red snapper after another, it was time to move on in the hopes of finding a few different species to tangle with. As is typically the case in the Tortugas, we didn't have to look too far. So Chris, the Simrad's marking some incredible bottom down there. Is this natural reef we're looking at? Yeah, this is a little piece of reef that sticks a little further south. Really steep edge on it. Normally holds quite a few fish. Oh man, I'm seeing a lot of fish on there. Yeah, that looks like like some bigger yellowtails there. It's sitting a little deeper. And where yellowtails are, you get to find a lot of other stuff too, right? Hopefully some grouper and king mackerel are always around them. Everything uh, likes to eat yellowtails. That's it. Including me. You never know what you might tie into when fishing the tortugas, so it pays to have a variety of different sized outfits ready to go so you're prepared for whatever swims into your chum slick. Look at this behind the boat, man. Yellowtail snappers and chubs and uh, big yellowtails. They're at the bag almost. We've seen some king max swimming around, and this is pretty awesome. Keep them up here on top. Yeah. I think I'm going to go back there and see if I can see smack can... a yellowtail or two. Yep. If you know me, I love yellowtail fishing. I know it. Well, you got them coming this, right now. This should now. be like the proverbial fish in a barrel. Looks like another chunk of chum. Keep letting her go. Five, four, three. There you That was awesome. That was so cool. That didn't <laughs> take much. It sure didn't. Fish in a barrel, my friend. Fish in a barrel. A nice size tail. Good eating size. Yeah, man. Like, not a flag, but uh, pretty good sized fish. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's a pretty fish, man. No better eating fish in the world than that right there. The Florida Keys Yellowtail Snapper. $21.95 in any restaurant. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, look at this. Nice. Float. Nice gag. Gag, you float it up. Legal size gag, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's a beagle. Look at that, man. Oh, that's my favorite grouper. The best eating grouper, a lot of fun to catch. And you know what, you can catch them from Texas to Virginia. It's one of the most common groupers around. How many kinds of groupers you got around the Tortugas? You got reds, blacks, gags, what else? 
Got scamps. Kenny yeah. Mitchell's out in the deep water. Right. Super. Yeah, man. I love a gag grouper. Good job, right. buddy. Thank you. He'll eat well. Yes, he will. Yellowtails are fun, but that grouper got us fired up to try for something a little larger. So we went back to fishing a live bait on the bottom to see what else we might find down there. The variety in the tortugas is incredible, and we wanted to find a new quarry. Yeah, somebody, hurry up. Got a feeling something was gonna yeah, follow him up. I uh -oh. think so. I think he just got ate there. I think it did. <laughs> Felt a little bit uh, chompish. Oh, I see a couple of uh, fishes sure. coming in the chum line. Looks like a nice size cooter. Big cooter. Big cooter. Well, Johnny, another species. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Catch this down. Yeah, get that underneath there. <laughs> yeah, man. Look at those teeth. Look, Look at them chompers. He's got them. Look at all the lice all over his head. Woohoo! That's the one thing. Death grip on them when you gather. Nothing to it. All right, John. See you, pal. Give him, give him a little reviving. How's he doing? He's starting to look a little better. Yeah. He's getting his color back. He's starting to get a little kick. There he goes. There he goes. Good job, ma'am. All right, way you go, Johnny. Awesome, awesome. Coming up. There we go, right there, right there, Chris, Chris, Chris. Oh! That was an awesome bite. That was nice. We're going to gaff it right now. Awesome job, buddy. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks, has been brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. By Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. By FloridaFishingLicenseCampaign.com. Always say, I do. And by Ram Trucks. Get more facts at ramtrucks.com. Guts. Glory. Ram. Key West enjoys a reputation as a world-class vacation destination for a great many reasons. First, there are the dozens of historical museums and preserved buildings, from the Hemingway House to the Mel Fisher Museum, and lots more in between. Then there are the dining opportunities. Key West has some of the greatest restaurants in Florida, ranging from funky delis to incredible ethnic fare of all descriptions, all the way up to extraordinary white tablecloth gourmet experiences. The nightlife along Duval Street beckons to the partiers in the crowd, and everyone enjoys the elaborate sunset celebration on Mallory Square each evening. For fishermen, though, Key West adds even more. The diversity of species here must be experienced to be fully appreciated. No other destination has more variety, and when you add it all up, Key West may be just the perfect spot for your next vacation. When fishing in the Tortugas, it's fun and productive to stagger baits throughout the water column. By fishing a bait or two on the bottom and another pair in the mid-depths, with two or more on the surface, you're in the path of many different hungry fish. There you go, right there, right there, Chris, Chris, Chris. That was an awesome bite. Nice. Nice bite. Really good bend. That's a good fish. He is going downtown. That could be the uh, proverbial King Mac. That could be the King Mac we're looking for. Oh, man, look, he is a king. See him on the surface? We're going to gaff it right now. It's a nice fish. Come around. Take him the other way. Quite you ready. Not quite ready. Oh, that's a nice fish. Come on, baby, stay on now. I hate it when they go under the boat at the last minute. One more circle. Take your time, Chris. Take, Take your time. time. Yeah. Got him? Yeah, I got him. Yeah! Excellent job, guys. <laughs> Team trust. There you go, Chris. You want to grab him? I'll get him, Marty. One, two, three, go! Yeah! <laughs> He's in the boat, man. There's a smoker king fish. Awesome <laughs> job, buddy. Awesome. Pulling that out. Woo.
Cigar minnow? Cigar minnow. Cigar minnow. Let me, oh, that's still bubble it. That one's going back to the smoker. Yeah, man. That's a world-class kingfish, no matter where you're fishing. All right, man, pick him up. Oh, yeah. Slip in there, Johnny. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. 30 pounds? 32. 32. Nice big kingfish. You know, I've always thought that 30 pounds, that, that's what delineates a good kingfish from a great kingfish. Anything yeah. above 30, that's an awesome fish. Yeah, that's an awesome Especially fish. Especially on that light tackle. That oh, yeah, 20 pound test, man. He that smoked great. A, that was a great fight and a great fish. And you know, that's also the, the king mackerel down here in the Tortugas. It's one of the most prime opportunities. This is one of the best places to catch them anywhere in the world. And it's catch smokers. This is where all the tournaments are won, is right here. Yeah. This is why. This is why, exactly. This is why, right here. I've been fortunate to spend many a great day fishing the Tortugas with RT, but this was the first time I'd had a chance to fish the park with both he and Chris. It was a special trip, and as things turned out, we were just getting started. Fishing Key West with one of the Trossets is always awesome, but when you get to do it with both of them in the Tortugas under perfect weather, well, it just doesn't get any better than that. The beautiful Key West Marriott Beachside Resort provided our accommodations in Key West, we also owe special thanks to Hurricane Hole Marina and the Parrot Key Hotel and Resort as well. To learn more about Sport Fishing Television powered by Ram Trucks, visit our website at sportfishingtelevision.com and be sure to visit us at facebook.com slash sportfishing. Join us for the next episode of Sport Fishing Television powered by Ram Trucks as we bring you a very special part two of our incredible Dry Tortugas fishing adventure with Captains RT and Chris Cross. Oh my God. Unbelievable.